Okay, I wanted to do this video about, I've touched on it in the past, I think I might have mentioned it, but I don't know if I ever showed it. So this is um, the video that I'm gonna show you for Ample Guitar. Ample Guitar is the only, in my opinion, by the way, this is just my opinion, the only guitar um, plug-in that I personally find, and I'm not talking about bass guitar, because bass guitar, I'm all, I like Trillion, although you can use this one as a bass too, it sounds pretty good. It's the only guitar plug-in, acoustic and electric, that I personally would ever recommend to somebody and I personally use myself. Um, I don't recommend them a lot of times because I feel like the guitar is its own beast and you have to, you have to play one and play it for a little while to get an understanding of how to even use these plugins. Now you can learn it, and that's what I'm gonna show you today, like a couple things that I've picked up in other videos and techniques that you can use to make it sound more realistic. Um, but I will say this, and you can write the melody in and try to do it that way too. It's very difficult, more time consuming too. Um, this thing does have a way to sit here and write it in, the melodies, the chords. And you can drag in now. I think they have now where you can drag in MIDI too and it will um, sequence it for you. I'm not good at drawing in stuff like that. I can draw in drums. That's one thing. But drawing in, even like with bass notes and stuff like that, I prefer to play all that in because I feel like I get the real feel of it a little bit better. Um, they have different you know, options here. All this stuff is really cool. A lot of times I don't touch any of this. Like this is the Martin uh, guitar. They have presets you can see in here for different types of songs and strumming, fingering, all that, et cetera, et cetera. I prefer leaving it on default and playing my own stuff in. So when you play a chord in here, here's just a triad. Oops, that's not a good way to play. Show you it, because I'm on the bass. Let me plug into here. Just a C. So if you look at that, you might not fully grasp, why is it doing this? Okay, all right, so getting back to what I was talking about. So you can play or try it, it sounds okay. Guitar, typically you don't wanna use more than six fingers. I usually say, um, five fingers and the reason why I say that but six for sure because there's only six strings and you typically one hand is strumming it right the right hand usually or depending on which way you play if you play left hand or right right hand for me is always strumming and my left hand is doing the chord you can kind of see my hand your fingerings okay so I'll use typically three notes to four notes maximum or a chord. The other hand is playing the melody. So my suggestion is always stay no more than four to five fingers, six fingers maximum. Um, because typically, like if you're doing 11s and 12s, you might might drop a note out and yes this does work with uh scalar you can use scalar to to do the chordal parts of it however i have found that with scalar unless you dial it in just right on the strumming sometimes it can sound a little fake it's not it doesn't sound as natural as when you would just sit there and play it Give you some variations so i'm using two one finger to play two notes there if you look right here you can see it if you don't know chords by the way i'm just playing in the key of c right here i'm not even using any of the black keys now i can Okay, and I'm playing the melody. So I'm gonna do a simple, I did a simple one for you. They also have the capo and all the other stuff that you can do. That's something for later times when you learn 
learning pretty good. So I recorded in, one of the things I love MIDI capture and audio capture to be able to go back and just find out what you played later, because sometimes I'm just in the moment, I'm just playing and I wanna know. So I use that a lot. I'll start playing something just to kind of like get an idea of what I wanna do, and then I'll build from there. So this is what I did. I built, I played probably like, I don't know, 24 bars of me just playing. It wasn't even no uh, beat or anything going on. Just played to what I, my natural um, metronome built inside of me, if you want to call it that, for lack of better words. And I'm going to solo this out. I want you to, this is the intro I came up with. So listen. Okay, so that's the intro. That spawned me to play other stuff as I was playing along. And I came up with what I call, an, I'm going to call it an eight bar uh, riff that I put together. And it's not complicated. It, it may seem like it because it sounds like it's a lot going on. Just because I'm adding in melody, a little melody over the top of my arpeggiated chords. But that's all it is. It's just two chords. Well, it may be more, it's, it's basically two chords. But as you can see right here, I'm playing a D. And then here's the C. And all I'm doing is just playing these, these chords like. So that's what I'm doing. Check this out. Because I played that and I added in those melody parts over the top and on top of that I made it eight bars it doesn't tire in my opinion now it may tire some out if you're a real guitarist like and I say real guitarist like I don't play I play it may tire out a real guitarist but I'm not making like classical really music I'm just building you know kind of pop slash R&B type music and so for that genre of music it's not going to tire you out and what's great is i built an intro that's a little different i probably will build a ver uh, a bridge rather that is a little different to give it a break and maybe an outro so if i build those three parts or four parts then the music sounds you know like it's more than just this really you know basic two chords and, and it really is just two literally two chords with some arpeggiated notes and a little melody over the top. So I'm saying this to say that you can do this. This is not complicated. These are three note chord or triads basically. And they're all white keys. And here I'll show you the guitar again because you're looking at the... By the way, the, the mod wheel, as you can see, it's spinning closer to that side over there or sorry, up here, over there. Gives it a little vibrato. So you can vib vibrate the strings using the that, or you can pitch bend if you want to, okay? And you can hear the squeaking of the hands coming off of it. All right, you can also change that from a finger uh, library to a strum library or a pick library if you want picking on there. I prefer with the style I'm doing here, I prefer to see it with the finger library just because it sounds like I'm playing an acoustic and I typically would play an acoustic with my fingers and not so much with a pick. That's just my personal preference, but everybody's different. Okay, so now let's see it in the context of a track. So I'm gonna unsolo this so you can hear the rest. I put together some drums and you'll see I did this in 120. Um, but the reason why I did it in 120 was because I wanted to be able to play halftime. So I start out with it like playing in halftime, the, or the drums are in halftime, right? And then you'll see I eventually turn it over to where I, I do it at 120. So I'll start it from the beginning and let you hear it. I like air in my track, so I like a little bit of right here where it's a little air. I might put a click in there.
UBI percussion on the factory. I, I mean, UBI percussion factory is doing the percussion portions of it for me. I'm switch that up a little bit. Got a little rhythm I like. You'll notice something different here. I used audio for the uh, snaps and claps. See? Just because it's easier to just place those on. And then I went, and something else I did too, just so you know. So you got you got enough of kind of hearing. I'm gonna play the chorus for you or the faster portion for you. You'll see each one of these is different volume. So I went in manually. All I did was four, right? Four snaps and four claps. And I go in manually to each one and just lower the gain a little bit on each note. Now with MIDI, it's a lot easier. You just change the velocity a little bit. But it, when you want something that's just a steady in there, it's nice to just be able to drag and drop a file, a wave or a file sample in there so that you can do that, okay? So here's what it's, I'm gonna lead you into the, uh, now to the uh, faster portion. I made two bass parts, here's the second part. song using guitar using acoustic now you might say well i can't afford to get the um the acoustic great news for you is this is the one paid version but if you go to ample sound i think it's ample sound.net you can see if you can look over closely here there's a light version of a p bass and a light version of that same guitar i'll pull the light version down here so you can see what it looks like Looks practically identical. It's an older version, so you can see the the they don't they haven't updated it much. But it still works and it's free. So why not try it? So if you got um if you got a computer where you can download it, download it onto your computer and use the light version for right now until you can afford maybe catch it on sale like a Black Friday or something. And you can grab the real version if you want the acoustic. Um, they do make a really cool nylon. I haven't bought it yet. The only reason I didn't is because I ended up buying one from Native. Well, it's technically from, um, what is it? Native Instruments and... Uh, Oh my goodness, I can't remember. Native Instruments and Spitfire Audio has one that this guy put together and he's got a new version. I haven't bought the new version just because it's um kind of expensive right now. So I'm not trying to spend that kind of money when I have the old version that works. But I think eventually, personally, I'm just going to end up with Ample Sounds uh, guitar because I personally like the way their guitar sound and I find it just really good. Plus, once you buy into Ample Sound, they start giving you little discounts, um, ten percent here, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Plus, you can add that on top of whatever I think, if I'm not mistaken, on top of whatever uh, discounts they're offering at the time when you purchase. So, I probably will get that classical one soon or whenever it goes on sale, because I definitely like their guitars the best as far as the sounds go. Um, and they're just super fun to play. They sound great when I play them. I don't, I feel like I'm really playing the guitar in the sense of the way it's, the way it feels. It's all about feeling, um, to me at least. Um, and so there you have it. That's all I wanted to show you. Um, I built this track maybe 10 minutes ago before I got on to, to record this video. So yeah, it didn't take me that long. But it is also a simple track. I didn't really make it super intricate. Um, and so I, I encourage you to try the light version, at least, if you don't have the money to get the regular version. I don't think they're too, too expensive. Let's, let's just... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on a second. 
I need to close out. Okay, give me one second here. Get out of that. Oh, let me I open like five windows at one time. Give me one second to open that back up. Okay, and then I think I have amplesound.net right here. So if you go into their website, here's all their products. If you want to purchase something here, if you want the free download, I think they have it under downloads. Yep, there it is. The guitar right there. So you can get that free version, which is kind of fun. They do offer some trial versions for some of the other ones if you want to try them out. They have cool uh, ukuleles or ukuleles, however you pronounce it. Um, and just for purchase products. So they offer some cool Chinese instruments that I really want, but they're kind of expensive. And I'll show you something too, like if you go to purchase. So see, they have a full bundle. It's like $2,659. But what's cool is you can bundle whatever you want together and they'll give you a discounted price. But you also can pick from their bundle options. And then they tell you the price in USD right here below each instrument. So maybe you just want to buy one instrument. You don't have to buy them all right out the gate because you just want to try one. Um, if I was going to buy an acoustic, I'm a, they do make a, um, a Taylor one. Good guitar. Taylor 714. Those are nice too. I'm more of a fan of the Martins personally. And this is the, the D41 that I was playing on that track. I like them because they typically have a, a darker sound. I'm not a fan of a bright, bright guitar. Um, and then here's the classical one. And there you see they're about 170. So it's like literally buying a full plug-in. But if you decide like you want an acoustic bundle, you can see that like 543. So you save about $302 for just buying them separate. So I know it's a lot of money for most people. I'm not encouraging you to go buy every one of their instruments. You, you'll be broke quick. I promise you I'm trying to do that. But if you love, like, maybe you want um, the 335. I use that sometimes in instruments. I use the um, the Martin for sure. So you could buy the Martin. There's nothing wrong with grabbing a good P bass. Uh, yeah, I use a P bass just about, or jazz bass and a P bass just about on everything. So if you, you know, like the jazz bass, you can go that route. Um, a lot of good stuff. I encourage you to grab, grab what you will use. Do not grab something if you're not going to, really use it just because it looks neat. Like literally get what you're gonna use because that'll then you'll be prone. And you can always buy later because they'll give you the discounted prices with it. So amplesound.net, take a look at them. They are not sponsoring this video. I just use them because I like them. They have not given me anything other than the same demos that you can personally get for free. That's the only thing I've gotten from them for free. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. I don't play, I don't, so a lot of times I'll play the guitar myself and stuff just because it's easy just to grab a guitar. But um, I'm trying to get to where I'm just in the box too at the same time. I know a lot of people are just in the box and it's kind of nice because I'm not going to carry my guitar around with me everywhere I go to try to pull it out to play somewhere if I come up with an idea or something I want to try to play. So I'll do it on here and use this, the little mini, uh, the MPK Mini Plus. Or if you don't have the MPK Mini, you can use your onboard keyboard on your computer. All right, so that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys about amplesound.net and that crazy cool Martin D41 guitar that they offer. All right, I'm out.